Shanghai in 1937 was considered the Paris of Asia. It was a very glamorous place. It was a place of great diversity, extraordinarily wealth on one side and terrible poverty on the other. In this Paris of Asia are two sisters, Pearl and May, and they were what were called beautiful girls, models for Shanghai advertising. But what they were really selling was this image of a new modern Chinese woman, a woman who was going to transform China. She was well educated and she expected to marry for love, not go into an arranged marriage. But just as things start to go south in Shanghai, things also take a pretty bad turn for Pearl and May, who suddenly find themselves on their way to the United States in arranged marriages. Los Angeles in 1938 had four Chinatowns. One of them was called China City. It was one square block surrounded by a miniature Great Wall, and inside it was built from the leftover sets from the filming of The Good Earth. So, it wasn't very authentic, but it did have a certain amount of charm. Here we are in New Chinatown. Now this Chinatown has been here so long that today they call it Old Chinatown, which really sort of tells you how old I'm getting to be. And what they tried to create was not the China of their youth or their childhoods, but this kind of colorful, happy, um, kind of a little bit gaudy Chinatown that would really attract customers and really be a tourist place for people to come. And it was very, very popular in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. More than anything, Shanghai Girls is a story of sisters. The sibling relationship is typically the longest relationship we'll have in our lifetimes. This is the person who has known you since birth, who should stand by you and support you and love you no matter what. And yet it's also your sister who knows exactly where to drive the knife to hurt you the most. So I don't look terribly Chinese, but in fact I am part Chinese and my grandparents and great-grandparents used to own a Chinese antique store here in Los Angeles. And they moved their store into this last surviving building at China City. Here we are in front of the Chinese American Museum on Sanchez Alley in Los Angeles, Chinatown. About two blocks from here is where Pearl and May first arrive in Los Angeles. And they get off the bus with Sam and they walk down Sanchez Alley to their new home, which is in the Garnier building. I grew up spending a lot of time in this area as a little girl. and to be able to write about Pearl and May here in this house and to create their, what their lives were like was really wonderful for me. Emotionally, Shanghai Girls is the closest book to my heart that I've ever written. So many of the places that I wrote about in Shanghai Girls are gone now. And so many of the people that I grew up with are gone now. Now, I know I'm not the only person to lose people in places. We all go through that. But how do we keep those people with us? We carry them in our hearts. And so to me, Shanghai Girls is about those people and places who disappear from us in life. And that the only way that we can still have them with us is to carry them in our hearts. The one question that every single reader has asked me is, are you working on a sequel? What's going to happen next? And I can say that I absolutely am working on the sequel. Everyone will find out what happens to May and Pearl as their adventure continues. <laughs>